Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Temi. I am Temi Banjo, a YouTuber in Lagos, Nigeria. And today I'm going to be talking about how to lose weight efficiently, even if you have a slow metabolism. And I'm going to be sharing tips and tricks that worked for me and things that I do on a daily basis just to keep the weight off. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you keep watching this video all right so let me do a formal you know introduction if it's your first time here welcome and kindly hit the subscribe button because i give out content on a weekly basis you do not want to miss that so make sure you hit the notification bell also so you do not miss any of my uploads and if it's not your first time here just do well by giving this video a thumbs up it helps with the rating of my video and lets youtube know that this video is doing well so kindly give this video a thumbs up and let's just get right into today's information all right, so first things first, if you have a slow metabolism, it obviously means that the rate at which your body digests or processes food is on a slow rate, it is very slow. Therefore, you find it hard, you know, your, your body finds it hard digesting food and sometimes it doesn't digest the food um, completely before you have another meal so you know there's a compound going on there's a compoundment going on in your in your system whereby you are loading your body with food because um the one in your body hasn't digested and you're still eating so there might be different causes of this um slow metabolism some are medical some aren't but i'm here to talk about the obvious one which is the fact that People like us eat too much <laughs> and then we have a slow metabolism. And sometimes slow metabolism can be caused because you reduced your calorie intake and you know, you kind of trick your body to think that, oh, there's not much work to do. So I can just slow down and be relaxed because I don't have too much food to digest. So your body kind of takes the, you know, back step. And because your calories are little your body you know is relaxed and therefore when you increase your food intake it's still relaxed you have to wake that body up you want to start by increasing your calorie intake but not increasing your fat or carbohydrate intake all right i hope that's very understandable not your fat not your calorie not your fat not your carbohydrate you can increase your calorie intake by taking more vegetables more um fiber um you can take more um food rich in fiber you can take fruits you can take vegetables that are rich in vitamin c's thereby increasing your calorie intake but not doing your body any harm so that way when you increase your calorie intake your body kind of wake up your body wakes up to the fact that it has a lot of work to do and it, because this most of these um, plants i mentioned i mean the vegetables fruits fiber all those type of things these things i mentioned are diuretic um, plants diuretic food components which will help to hasten metabolism help to hasten digestion in your body i mentioned many things about digestion and diuretic plants in a video i called anti nigerian anti-aging food i'm going to leave a card up here in case you haven't seen that why didn't you see it okay so make sure you click on that video and learn more about diuretic plants and what they do to the body all right next you want to make sure you introduce in ginger and garlic even if you don't put garlic into your food or your meals you can be putting ginger in your food because ginger is kind of a a diuretic plant also that helps to hasten digestion some people chew ginger and they are in the toilet the next minute also, you want to be putting chili peppers in your food, not necessarily to the point where you can't bear the taste. I mean, um, when it's too hot, not up to that point, but to the point where, I mean, you can taste it, but it doesn't become unbearable. Make sure you put chili peppers in your food. That way, um, your body speeds up its metabolism on its own. I'm telling you, it speeds up its metabolism on its own and I don't know if you notice but some people when they take chili peppers their number two point of exit <laughs> is always hot i know you know about that a lot i also know about that i mean most times when i take plenty pepper i need to go to the toilet almost immediately <laughs> so i've mentioned the fact that you have to take food high in fiber but the ones i mentioned are from fruits and vegetables but i also want to mention seeds which are flax seeds sesame seeds 
and maybe chia seeds and those are fiber those um those seeds are rich in fiber also wheat they are rich in fiber and we also have cassava also which is rich in fiber so you have to take foods that are rich in fiber which will help you to you know hasten your metabolism allows you to go to the toilet quicker and speeds up your digestion and thereby having your guts looking slim and cute all right next is the fact that so many people might not take seriously but yes you have to chew your food properly because if you don't chew your food properly you are giving your body more work to do because your your teeth is like your teeth your oral area here your teeth your saliva everything has to break down the food to more cells that you know your body will have less to work with and when you chew your food properly your body will have less work to do thereby your body will be able to burn the food quicker your body will be able to you know quickly process the food and <laughs> get ready for the next batch of food coming into your tummy okay also you want to make sure you take a lot of water before you eat after you eat and even during you eat but i don't like drinking i don't like drinking water during um, when i eat because it kind of makes me full so <laughs> And anyways that's not important but make sure you take water before your food and after your food very importantly before your food because it helps you to you know prepare your body like cleanse your body whatever remnants it has there kind of wakes up your body also or wakes up your digestive system that's okay something is about to happen and whichever remnants or residue that is left there can be washed away if there is and when you eat new batch of food comes in and your body has you know enough energy to work for the new batch of food to help that food digest quickly and efficiently i hope you understand what i'm saying also you need to drink water after your food most importantly so to aid digestion quicker and easier please don't drink soft drink even if you want to have soft drink make sure you take water before your food after your food take water at least a little bit before you have soft drinks your alcohol your wine or whatsoever it is you're having so lastly i'm going to mention the fact that you should try fasting intermittently and many people would have heard about intermittent fasting i mean it's all over the internet intermittent fasting here intermittent fasting there i feel like everywhere i turn to i hear about intermittent fasting now and if you don't know about intermittent fasting it is a scheme or a program you do or you program your body to be in thereby fasting not eating food for a minimum of 16 hours and you know you have a window so if you don't eat for 16 hours in a day you have an open window of eight hours to eat if you do not eat for 20 hours in a day you have an open window of four hours to eat so make sure you try fasting intermittently so when you give your body a break it kind of um, break down yeah i'm kind of rhyming right now when you give your body a break <laughs> your body breaks down the food faster and you know you have you leave your body to rest for that whole 16 hours thereby your insulin level goes down and your body um kinds of burn fat also so if your body doesn't see what to burn again to give you energy which is obviously food that you have taken in it begins to burn fat that's why some people also lose weight during intermittent fasting and it also has other good benefits to the body which we will not be diving into today but i would like to mention to you that you should try intermittent fasting because um, when you fast intermittently your body you give your body rest like you give your body proper rest from digesting food processing food doing this and doing that and your body just focuses on you and you and yourself alone thereby when you now eat your food i mean when your window is open your eating window is open your body has enough energy has enough um power to digest that food i hope i am clear i wish i could dive into intermittent fasting a lot more than this and if it is if it is something you guys want me to film separately dedicatedly for you guys i mean i'm up to the task <laughs> i will always deliver please let me know in the description box and also by giving this video a thumbs up if this video can have up to 500 likes i mean i will deliver this video okay let me bring it out to like 300 likes if this video has 300 likes i will deliver the intermittent fasting videos. i love having videos like this because you know this is 
video this this type of videos give me opportunity to chat with you guys so please let me know your thoughts and everything that is going on about everything in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like i mentioned earlier and if you're new here and you made it up to this point make sure you click the make sure you click the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up share this to everyone so that they can know that they can lose weight while eating good and fine <laughs> all right make sure you share this video to your friends your family let them know let them know how they can you know speeding up their metabolism and make the food digest quicker i mean it is your body you're meant to be in control of it okay let's be in control of this our body together all right so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have a lovely day a lovely time and stay blessed <laughs> i know i'm rambling anyways i hope to see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.